Hey guys, it's Haley, and today I'm doing the Colors of the Rainbow tag. And if you've been watching videos on YouTube lately, you've probably seen this tag floating around. Everyone's been doing it. Seemed really fun. Usually I don't do that many tags, but this seemed really fun and right up my alley. So basically, you just, um, it's like the different, a girl created, I think Talk Becky Talk created this tag, and then Miss Glamorazzi did it, and then everyone started doing it. Basically, you just um, go through the colors of the rainbow and then just name a product you like that that is that color. And I have all pretty much like hair care or um, makeup or like skincare and then one like random. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. And just a side note, all my videos you're probably thinking are different backgrounds. And I'm trying to see what I like best in my house. Right now I'm in my laundry room. I've been filming in my bedroom but in different like positions or different areas. So let me know what you think. I'm just kind of playing around with my house and everything. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the color red. And for the color red, I chose this Bath and Body Works fragrance mist. It's the Forever Red. It looks like that. There's a glare. Um, it's just so, this, I love, first of all, I love the packaging. I think it's super cute and I, there's a glare. But everyone's probably seen this and heard of it. Chloe wants to say hi, obviously. This, I don't even, I'm really bad at describing scents, but this just smells so nice and like a little bit of fruity, but very like mature scent and it's perfect to spray on, you know, for work or a night out or anything. I love this and I love having fragrance mist, mist more than perfumes because fragrance mist, fragrance mist you can just like spray out during the spray round during the day and it's not as um, like heavy of a scent, especially in the summertime. So I really, really love this. And this is a perfect scent for like fall, winter spring, summer, anything. So I love this. The next color is green and I chose this um, shampoo. It's actually a clarifying shampoo and this is actually my second bottle of it. It is the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Shampoo, shampoo Pure, Pure Clean. It looks like this. It's just a, um, there's such a glare in here. Um, it's just an amazing clarifying shampoo. And what, what I do with this is I used to use it once a week to get all the gunk and like products out of my hair and just kind of just like re, 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 revamps your hair and makes your hair clean and everything's out of it. You know, you shampoo your hair, but sometimes the product is still like, there's still product buildup in your hair. So this is amazing. It smells like apples. It's just, it's a really great shampoo. I'm really not usually a fan of Garnier um, hair products, but this is really good and I really would recommend it to anyone. It's like $3 and you really can't go wrong with it. The next thing is yellow, and for yellow I chose my face wash that I use pretty much every morning. It's the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Skin Brightening Facial Cleanser. It looks like this. This There's such a glare. Oh, y'all. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is just an amazing cleanser. Um, it basically has a foam. It has a really nice foam to it, and it's oil-free. Um, it has caffeine, lemon, and papaya, and it has these little bursting beads if you ever use any of the Clean and Clear like Morning Burst lines. Line, it's really good, and I feel it really brightens up your skin and just makes my skin feel awake and like revamp for the for the morning and stuff in the morning when I use this. And I'll use this in the shower, I use this in my sink, whatever. But it has a really nice scent to it, and it's just really nice. So I would highly recommend the Clean and Clear Morning Burst line. Um, I've used a few different ones, but this one is definitely my favorite so far. And for orange, I actually chose, I'm pretty much out of this, but this is the, the Body Shop Mango Body Butter. I talked about this in a video. I think a favorites video. I think a April favorites. I got this in April, and I'm pretty much out of it. It's going to be in an empties video soon, guys, because I have, like, maybe one more use to scrape out of there. This is the mini one. I'm definitely going to buy the full-size one because this stuff is absolutely amazing. Um, it's super moisturizing, and it's like a thick cream, so I usually will just use it at night um, because in the morning, if I use it, it's kind of too heavy, especially this time of year. Maybe in the winter, it'd be okay. But the scent's amazing, and it, it absorbs into your skin really, really quickly, which I love. I hate lotion sometimes because it can take forever for it to blend into your skin, and sometimes I just don't have time for that. But this just absorbs into your skin really, really quickly, and it's a really nice consistency. It doesn't break me out or, like, irritate my skin at all, and I have really, really sensitive skin, so it's really easy to find products that don't, that react to it badly. So, love this, and I'm definitely repurchasing the big size. And I know I heard 
at Ulta. Like if you have Ulta points, you can buy like two of these for the price of one or something like that. So I'm definitely going to look into that because I love, love, love this stuff. And for blue, I chose this. I lost my train of thought. Um, Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I'm pretty much out of this. I actually just ordered a new one off of Amazon. But I was really mad because I didn't realize that Target carried, or my Target carried the Healthy Sexy Hair because I ordered off on Amazon. But I think I paid a little bit less even with shipping than I would at Target. So that's okay. But anyways, this is an amazing leave-in conditioner. I spray this on my hair every time I shower. And it just... Makes my hair really feel really hydrated and soft and smooth and makes it easy to brush through it after I get out of the shower and I just really love it. It's amazing. Can't really say much. Oh yeah, and TJ Maxx and Marshall sometimes you can find this at. So definitely keep on the watch for that. Oops. For purple, I chose this eyeshadow palette which is really old. I actually wore this for my wedding so it's kind of special to me. I never really wear it but... It's from L'Oreal, and I don't know if I can see the color anymore. Violets is the name. 520 Violets. So, yeah, I like this color a lot. Um, these, I wore them. My best friend, or my maid of honor, did my makeup for my wedding. And there comes my dog. Um, I wore all of these colors um, for my wedding. And it was just really beautiful, really pretty. And, yeah, I love this. And I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but... I had to throw it in because it's all purples and really pretty palettes, so yeah. And then for pink, I actually chose this nail polish by Orly, and it is the Orly Nail Polish in Basket Case. It's a really, really pretty pink color. Perfect for this time of year. I have it on my toes right now. I just really love this color, and yeah, it's so pretty. And then for Indigo, I don't really know if this qualifies for Indigo because I don't really know if this is Indigo. I don't even know what, Indigo is kind of hard to find, but I chose my Rocket Maybelline, the Rocket Volume Express Mascara, and I, I, it's borderline like purple slash indigo, I don't really know. This is an amazing mascara. I will say that it takes forever to get off, and this is not the waterproof version. This is the regular um, mascara, so it does take a lot to get off. I wore this last night. And it took me forever to get it off when I was washing my face last night because I still had stuff left over when I washed my face. And usually my makeup wipes, like, get all of it off, all my other mascaras. So this is definitely, like, strong mascara, but it's amazing, and I would highly recommend it. It gives you volume and makes your lashes just look really nice and flattering. And my last thing is a multicolor. And I don't know if I skipped a color, but this is all I could come up with, so that's it. But this is my last thing. It's actually multicolor. And I'm, I'm rambling and I'm talking, I'm repeating myself. But it's just this bag. I don't even know where I got this from. My, my aunt gave this to me, I think, like, for my birthday last year. And I don't know the brand. I don't even know if there is a brand. But it's so cute. And I carry it to work sometimes if I have to carry stuff to work. Or sometimes I carry my lunch in it to work. But I actually have, like, a lunch box too. But... It's just perfect. It has some pockets, and it's super cute. It looks like Vera Bradley, but I think it's better. It looks so cute. I don't know what brand it is. I really don't, but it's pretty, and it's multicolor, so I definitely, as soon as I said I heard the multicolor color, I thought of this bag, so yes. So that was the Colors of the Rainbow tag. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and definitely do this video and let me know so I can go watch it. I love watching these color of the rainbow tag. So I hope y'all are having a great week and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.